Today, I'm going to talk about having a bad trip on cannabis. Hello everyone, my name is Randy Kane and I'm the Humble Grower. Cannabis is now legal in Canada and I'm here to show you what I know about this amazing plant. Is it possible to have a negative experience? I might be called a bad trip, just that's become very part of the, oh, I don't know, the dialogue or the propaganda, bad trips, good trips, whatever the hell these trips are all about. But anyway, can you have an uncomfortable experience using cannabis? Yes, you can, of course. If you use too much, um, you know, if you're not experienced. Uh, uh, what I will do is I will compare it to something that most of us have experienced as 13 and 14 year olds, having a so-called bad trip on alcohol. Remember that? Go and bought yourself a Mickey of lemon gin. Figured this is great, I'm gonna guzzle that down. The next thing you're throwing up all over everything and everybody, passing out, you got a head, you're just, it's wretched, you can't stand up. That's a bad trip. Is that something that you would ever really experience on cannabis? No. Can it be uncomfortable? Oh God, yes it can be. They call it greening out. And there is an element of using cannabis and many novices, people that first start using it, they become hyper aware of themselves. There is this sense of um, feeling that everybody's looking at you. There's a, a growing sensitivity. Well, that can be heightened if you do smoke a, a little bit more than you ought to. You can start to feel a little on the spot, a little bit of paranoia, maybe even a bit of a, there is elements of psychoses that can come into play. Will they last? Will they harm you? Ordinarily, no. This is something that will fade away. The beauty of this is you go to sleep, uh, wake up the next day and it's just something you could giggle at. You're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna drown on your own vomit as you might have, let's say, your bad trip with your lemon gin. Now, but also looking at another part of what could be considered sort of a negative or a bad trip on cannabis. There are individuals that really ought not to go near this. And if you've got mental disorders, schizophrenia, I'll use that as a prime example. If if the world is a bit awkward for you and you're, you're having a problem holding on to realities anyway, I don't know if you want to shift some of those. I don't know if you want to tax them. Um, if you're feeling a tremendous amount of despair, maybe this is something you don't want to try to just look at as going to be sort of what's going to lift you out of that. Um, you might then be very disappointed by such things. I do think you need to examine your physical and your mental wellness moving into this. So it's quite different than the classic bad trip where you know, you're gonna jump out of a building because you've had so much. What I'm talking about now is people that really ought not to be using. But the same could be said of alcohol. The same could be said of probably many substances that you know, can cause an effect on the body that people should avoid. Women during pregnancy should avoid certain pharmaceuticals. You know, people who've got heart conditions should avoid other sorts of things. Maybe, you know, aggravated sex or something like this because they've got to watch their heart. Think about that. Not being able to have a good sex life because of your heart. So I do think that you need to keep aware of some of those balancings. But bad trip, no. Greening out, yes. But you fall asleep, you wake up the next day, and everything will be fine. Promise.